Okay, this is a bit of a follow on from um, last week's video where I did an install guide on the PTRX7300 um, pan adapter board from Radio Analog. And um, a lot of you folks um, contacted me and said, you know, what does it do? What do? I, how do I join all this together? What 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 benefit is it for for me? And um, so I kind of tried to to think of something to put put this together, and uh, I've come up with a bit of a plan. <laughs> um, and I'm going to show you how to connect SDR Uno to your radio using a piece of software called OmniRig. Now this is nothing new. I'm sure there's a ton of videos out there, but I want to kind of tie it in with this PTRX um, board a little. So pretty much the first thing you want to want to do, if you haven't already done it, is install the PTRX board. Instructions here on their website, um, on the Marty Lynch uh, website, you get links to this instructions. I'll put links in the bottom of this video um, and you're, you, you'll be up and running. The second thing is, and I'm guessing that probably a majority of you guys are going to already have done it, and that is connect the ICOM 7300 to your computer. Now that is um, fairly straightforward. You just whiz on over to um, icom.co.jp, uh, uh, firmware updates and software downloads, find the relevant um, USB driver, download it, install it, and then plug the radio into, the, uh, into your computer. Once that's done, okay, um, my next sort of guest step would be to install the SDR Play. Now, what I would do with that is you head on over to sdrplays.com's website, download the software um, and install it. And then when it asks for the radio, then you plug the radio in to the computer. Um, it, when you plug the, S, the SDR play into the computer, it will ask, and then you can plug it in the RSP. Um, once you've done that, then the next step I think probably will be um, to then install the DX Atlas OmniRig uh, software. That is a simple case of whizzing along to DS, dxatlas.com um, and downloading the relevant um, uh, uh, file and installing it, and uh, and away you go. Now at that point, okay, we're gonna we're gonna flip around just a little bit here. At that point, you're going to want to open up your device manager. Now in device manager. You've, um, you'll see that the radio will come up as a Silicon Labs um, USB to UART bridge. Now, in my case, it's it's COM6, but um, it can be it'll be something completely different in in yours. But you need to make a note of that. If you're not sure which one it is, because this is a common chip, you might have two or three of those. Um, then what you do is you unplug the radio, see which ones disappears, and then make a note and then plug it back in and make a note of the one that disappears and reappears. Okay, so you need to make a note of what COM it is, uh, COM port. Mine is COM6, so there you go. So once you've done that, happy days. Now what we're going to need to do is whiz over to OmniRig. Now OmniRig is really, really simple. It's nothing complicated. So if you go to this top bit here you'll see there's a radio there now it doesn't show up the drop down list unfortunately when i when i actually on uh, obs but when you click this arrow here you'll get a list of radios and then i'll just choose the ic7300 and you can see i've done that there um and here you'll see that um when you click the arrow here, you actually could do get another drop down list and it will give you com um, all the com ports. Now, in my case, it's com six, yours might be different. It might be com three, four, five, whatever it might be, it doesn't matter. Um, here, the board rate needs to be the same um, on the radio as is on, on OmniRig. Now, this is all set up for 9600, I think it's vanilla. I think that's what it comes out of the box. I've gone eight, none, one, um, RTX high, DTR um, high, and I've just done this poll interrupt in milliseconds 500 and timeout in milliseconds 4000. I've just left all that default. I've not done anything. Okay, and that's all under the tab of rig, uh, rig one. Okay, and then you simply say okay, and that should disappear. 
So um, let's get back to that one. Now at that point, okay, you are pretty much set up. Okay, we've set up Omni Rig, which is now tied to your um, IC7300. Your 7300 now is connected to your computer and is up and running. Um, you've installed the board and you've got um, you've got the SDR Play uh, software running. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we will start SDR Play software running, which is straightforward. If I can find it, um, there you go, SDR Uno, and then just wait for it to do its thing. Now, what we're after is a button just up here, and it's called RSYN1. Um, and you can see that the pop-up there, there is a little pop-up that pops up over and it says assign to OmniRig. Just click on that, okay, and now the software is tied to the radio. So if I tune the radio now, I'm not doing anything with the computer, I'm actually tuning the radio. You can actually see now that the the uh, software is now following that. So now if we run the software, you'll see that this sees everything that the radio sees. And we can now control the radio via via the software. And um, that's it. It's this is actually using the um, antenna that's attached to the 7300. I don't have any fancy stuff on there. That is just um, what is coming out of the um, PTRX uh, 7300. Um, you can now control this in every way you can think of. Um, so now we've gone up to 80 meters. Um, it's doing its thing and you've got all of the standard sort of gain controls here for that um, for the, the the SDR itself um, you've got all the um, the standard sort of controls and uh, functions but the radio is also changing as well I mean I can't really show you it's all a bit awkward at the moment off recording off a Logitech um, camera um, but it is, it's recording. Everything you see on, on this is actually on the radio. It's very, very clever. Um, again, when you change all the different modes, um, if we change it to AM, it changes the radio as well. Um, you can change everything all from, from, the, from the radio itself. So that is pretty much it, I think. That is what it does. And now you've got a fully functional pan adapter with all the controls that come with SDR Uno or any other package for that matter. Um, and yeah, that's it pretty much there. So thanks for watching. If you, um, if you enjoyed it then, um, or if you've got something out of it, then why not subscribe? hit the notification because I do try and put more videos up as I you know put videos up as I go as I'm asked things I kind of generate them um comments as always um, down below and a thumbs up or whatever anyway look thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time